Okay, I'm back with another. This is literally round three of me recording. But I hate to do my makeup and literally take it right back off. Like, I hate doing my makeup to record some videos that can literally be only an hour of recording. Or to take my makeup right back off when I'm done. Hate that. So, I figured I'm just going to push out as many videos as possible while I'm recording today. So, since my first recording only took like an hour, my second one just took a half hour. I'll give you another one. How about it? Not an editing time, it's not an hour. But being on camera is the problem, okay? I, I could look like whatever when I'm editing. But anyway, um, this video right here, this is the, I don't know if y'all watched my video about the work drama. This is a follow up to that. So you might wanna watch that video first. That way, when you watch this video, you ain't confused. And I'm gonna try to keep this one really, really small. But when I did that video, how about Kern seeing the video? Literally the next day, she was asking people that was closest to me about if they felt the same way, shit like that. And I'm like, this bitch got a phone. You can literally call me. You can literally text me if I don't answer your call. You literally can leave me a voicemail if it's that deep to you. Whatever, Kern. So anyway, now when I did that video, I was still working, as I told you, I was still working through Susan, just in another building. When I made the video, I had to obviously make it like, I wasn't working in the same building at that time, but I was. I was working in the same, like, well, in a separate building, but still working under the same person. Get what I'm saying? Like, I actually gave it away for real, for real, when I was talking about the fact that I was supervised still, whatever. Like I said, she's asking the people that I got hired to work in the same building that I was working in when I was working with her. I actually got another lady hired there as well. Now, she came to me specifically for a job, but I refer her through Susan to that building. What make you think this lady is not going to communicate with me? You're dumb. So, what can I name this lady? Let's, let's name her Ellen. Fuck it. Ellen. Okay. So, if I got Ellen hired to work there, what would make you think that Ellen wouldn't come to me, tell me if she likes the job, not like the job, if she wished that she got transferred to where I was, that type of thing. You're dumb to think that would not happen. Because, of course... Something would go wrong. Guess who the fuck Ellen's calling? So funny story. Funny story. So how about... I do the video. Like I said, the other people I got hired at the building went in to work. They, are, they had like their two-week notice and they were basically working their last couple days. But... They go to work, they're like, 
yo, she's asking me how I feel about your video if I watched it. And I'm like, she has a fucking phone with my number in it. If you had an issue with it, you could have called me. But you didn't. Makes no sense. Anyway. So, same day my video come out. I talked to Susan on the phone. Susan didn't mention the video at all. It was like she was trying to ignore the fact that that was a thing. So, how about like a week or two, maybe three? No, like literally two weeks later. Ellen comes to the building I'm working in at that time. She comes to, all right, listen, she was already texting me throughout her time of being there. She literally quit within 10 days of working there. 10 days. And like I told you, her turnover rate is crazy. Kurt's turnover rate is crazy. Anyway. So she comes to the building I'm working in and was like, I really wish that you had me working here rather than refer me to there because that was a bitch. She's like, she's a bitch, that being first. She's like, I'm a, a spiritual person. I don't cuss like that. She was like, but she's a bitch. <clears throat> She's like, she's a bitch and very unprofessional. She's like, um, it's like we were doing the work while she was standing there with her towel in her hand. Remind you of something. I actually am thinking about asking one of my ex-coworkers to come do a video with me to confirm or deny my statements about this. But, um, actually, my ass, like, two of them. Anyway, she was like, she's a bitch. Like, it's like, we're doing everything. She's not. Blah, blah, blah. Basically what I said to y'all. Like, legit, exactly what I said to y'all. And I was like, um, did you honestly leave? She was like, I honestly left. I could not do it. She was like, I couldn't do it. She was like, it was like she was expecting us to do everything. I found that to be so funny. But here's the part that's crazy funny to me. Because Susan didn't repeat this to me until later. But Ellen was like, Kern's talking about she don't even want you to come over here and um, cover shifts if need be. She don't want you in the building anymore. I was like, do it look like I gave two fucks to be there? Really, am I pressed? It ain't like I'm going to be there anyway. I'm not covering no more of her shifts. I don't give a flying fuck what she got to do. I, you know what? You don't want me in your building, even though it's not even close to your building. But you don't want me over there. You can find somebody else to cover your shifts. Even though nobody else knows your shift the way I do. Literally not nobody. You got it, boo. I thought that was so funny. And I was going to do this follow-up video that day. But everything was going nuts around it. So... I'm giving it to y'all not especially because I don't work under them whatsoever. Well, not I never worked technically under her. 
like when it come down to it for real for real for real literally it took me like three days to catch everything like I literally picked up that job like a what no tomorrow I caught on so fast that I was even instructing before my second week came. But I mean not working for the company at all. I was like, fuck it. Here go video number two. I don't know why I didn't do that video sooner. And but a lot of things that happen with life in between. So obviously I wasn't able to literally just hop on and like record and edit and post. Shit's never that simple with me. But I um wanted to put this up so bad. I thought it was so funny. Like like that hurt my feelings. Bitch, no. You not wanting me there? No. But here's what's irritating to me. Like, all the shit that Susan talked. I didn't say talked. <laughs> talks. About Karen. She still gets away with fucking murder. Like, dude, you wouldn't still be working for me if your turnover rate was that fucking high. If you had that many complaints from employees, from one person, you wouldn't be working for me. I would not be complaining about you. Your ass would be out ASAP. Not a conversation. Flat out, you're fired because of this. Period. That ain't the case. So, what tops the funny on that is the fact that probably like two or three days after I heard that I can't come to the building anymore. I found out that it literally was Ellen and Kern when they're supposed to be a five-man team. It was Ellen and Kern because nobody else would work. A shift with them. All because of Kern. So, Ellen had to suffer because of Kurt. Legit, it was only them two. It's supposed to be five people total. They did a whole shift by themselves. Which means she actually had to work. I was told that they looked so simple. I was told that Karen literally was running around like her head was cut off. Even past 9.30. Shift was done at 9.30. You want to put up with that? You got it. I ain't mad. And truth be told, if I were in Susan's shoes knowing that this is my shit and there was a situation like that Karen's words would have been out the window I would have been calling Chalet like is it possible for you to go to work over there tonight because there's literally two of them and I would have been the best call made I know for a fact Susan was bothered by that because it actually came up in topic again. But my question to Susan was, why didn't you ignore that then? 
why didn't you ask me to go after I finished my other shift at the other place? Why do you let her basically control what you're choosing to do? That's crazy to me. I feel like there's more to that story. And y'all can read what I'm saying when I say if you smart, you know what I'm saying. There has to be more to that story. Because you're not going to fuck my shit up for nothing. Like, my name on this. Like, what you mean? You're not going to tell me how I'm going to run my shit. You're not going to tell me who can and can't be in this building, that building, or this. Like, no. No. And then I can see if Karen was real good at her job. That would be more understandable. But for the people, and y'all subscribe to me. So for the people who ain't scared, comment down below and say if I'm lying or not. It's so funny that whenever we would have a new hair, I would be the one delegating this shit. And they would assume I'm the manager or the supervisor. I'm like, no, baby, it's not me. And then I will always get the question, why? Don't know. But the petty side of me don't give a fuck either. So, Kern, I'm going to directly talk to you right now. And I'm actually getting to the point where I will say your name. You have questions. You have my number. If you don't have my number anymore, you know where to get it. Questions? Call me. Simple. Send a text. I'll answer you. You know I have no problem. I have, I have not a problem. I, I am very outspoken by default. So, any question, call me. Not a problem. Being an adult, you twice my age, baby. You literally twice my age. So, you actually should be the adult of the situation just as I was before I even did a, a video about you because bruh I wanted to do a video about you so bad forever ago but since I was the adult in the situation so many times before this video situation like the very first video You can be an adult if you have a question and call me. Number ain't changed. Everything the same. Just wanted you to know. Other than that, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up, comment, like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you're notified every time I drop a new video. And yes, I mean every time. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in my next one. Deuces.